Let's have Tay say the mm. intro. He never says the intro. I don't even know the whole intro. <laughs> Welcome to the Brown Bricks Podcast. The most amount of fun you can have while listening to a podcast. He yes. knows it. He yes. knows yes. it. Yes, yes, yes. He remembers. Yes. Hell yeah. Right. Dude, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Uh, cheers yeah I think I'll hold off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jackson's all yeah, hung over. He had, a, he had a bit too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, um, exciting announcement for the pod. We may potentially do an interview or just discussion with the Murray Reaction, who you all know and love. Yep. Yeah. Who are all big all fans of. Yeah. definitely looked into him after yeah. we talked about him. Yeah, no, he that's... He said, I gotta see this. Uh, but yeah. no, but, uh, we're pretty excited. Yeah. Uh, interview slash podcast upcoming. Yeah. We'll let you guys know if anything, uh... Coagulates on that, but yeah. Coagulates. <laughs> That's a fun word to use there. Yeah. I love, like, in sentences where you could just put any verb and be like, yeah, sure. <laughs> but anyways, I, oh, and also, before we forget, uh, if you like this episode or any other episode, make sure to email us at the brownbrickspodcast at gmail.com with any topics, anything you want us to look at, whatever. Just whatever you want to force we'll upon us. And we'll, we'll it will be forced upon us. Oh, yeah. yes, of course. I should probably get the domain for the. I brown should probably bricks. make that an email one of these days. <laughs> no, I should probably get uh, the Brown Bricks podcast too, just to. Oh, it's website. not like I well. Sure. I had the Brown Bricks Wow dot X Y Z domain. Uh, oh yeah. For because I made a whole website. Yeah, we we're gonna about have a WoW. guild in yeah. World of Warcraft <laughs> classic Wow called the Brown Bricks Guild, and then brown we're like, bricks oh, guild. making a guild is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they is is making a guild equivalent to? like actual work in that game uh um no, you gotta no, put you in some to, effort you have to like recruit people and have like organization like to what have enough max like? level players who play consistently enough to yeah. do a raid like that requires a not insignificant amount of effort oh uh, yeah one I um, effort we were not willing to put in <laughs> so. i just like to think like guild recruitments like fraternity recruitment yeah, and you like rush someone like, to the guild. You have all the guilds just do yeah. a presentation. Like, here's why our guild is different from the other guilds. <laughs> they, yeah. The guilds are all having, like, barbecues and stuff, and you go and you meet the members, and this guy's like, we'd extend him a bit. He's a really good cleric. Yeah, like, he's really cool. In reality, it. it's just people spamming general chat with, Please join Bigglesworth boys, though. join for the memeiest guild on the Bigglesworth <laughs> server. It's like, ugh. That's the worst. This guild mm. is the friendliest towards lgbtq yeah. people oh, yeah, I, saw that. I do think there is an inherent like when you're saying it's the memeiest guild you're attracting the people who you'd want to attract who, yeah, the people yeah. who are like yeah dude sure like this... but i still hate them and i'm against what they stand for <laughs> yeah it's true <laughs> is there any way to like grief a guild in that game oh yeah you can, yeah, yeah. You can, ninja you can loot. well, like there's a thing where like you'll join a guild to raid the and then you'll like leave once you get the loot. Yeah. Uh, so I got some you, uh, you coffees in pouches. Coffees in pouches. Yeah, they're actually really coffee. It, they, they taste more like uh, coffee. Wow. Than, no, no, what, no, what, like what a, a development! More like a caramel. I don't, know, like, I don't think caramel. Caramel. Over there. Yeah, so you just put oh, it no, in we, like your upper. Lip. I mean, they hear they oh, hear I'll the vape on every one. episode. I think I'm gonna hate it. I've been like. I have a lot of crap. I've been for uh, for about like a week. It's not get cut out. <laughs> but yeah, just like in your upper lip, uh, try to make it like not going back there because you're getting your there. throat. Okay. Yeah. Shit, it's back there. <laughs> Dig okay, it back like, out. No, I'm not. So you I'm wanna, joking. Then, <laughs> how much mouth cancer does this give you? Um, got to be a lot. A little, I don't know. Just enough. You know, like just, maybe better just, than chew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of well, friends who are like addicted to chew, uh, who. They, they they don't smoke, they don't vape. Are they like, baseball players? Uh, they were, which um, makes a lot of sense. I feel like doing those kinds of vices, you got to spread out the cancer. You smoke a bit to get the lung cancer <laughs> yeah. distributed, but then you got to back away from that, go to the yeah. mouth, get the mouth cancer going a little bit, but never enough to fully get the cancer. That's not a bad idea, where, like, one, Mondays and Fridays are, like, mouth cancer day, and, like, yeah. Sundays and Tuesdays are, like, lung cancer day, and then you can maybe do heroin on, like, do, like a patch, a patch day or something. Yeah. <laughs> And then you rotate that and go into next week. Honestly, you probably do better than people who just smoke all day, because those guys are, like, that's lung cancer guaranteed. But, you know, there's the opportunity to maybe not get lung cancer. Yeah, let's start doing that, yeah. Yeah. 
You guys want to get into chew? Is that is that what I'm hearing? Dude, uh, chew looks like it just tastes Skin to so snuff. bad. Skin no, it's snuff, snuff. guys. It's it worded tobacco. Yeah. Is yeah. that what that was? Yeah. I believe that's so. Sound, right. That sounds interesting, yeah. No, it's it's got to be awful. Because, like, know. it's not like there's certain stuff in snuff that's you're, it's not going to absorb it through snorting it. It's like, so yeah. you get horrible, like, black boogers that you just have to, like, shoot out oh, your nose because you're snorting all this snuff. It's meant to be fucking disgusting. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> like, I like the idea. It was, like, high class. Back yeah, it was there, like right? people would like, have, like, snuff like, pouches yeah. and they'd bring that out and be like. Mm-hmm. like very high mm. class, like. What's the connotation of a snuff film then? Because I know that's like films where that's, people. I don't think there's a relationship like between violence. the two worlds. Yeah, but, which is they're snuffing out a life. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I, uh, they're snuffing out the culprit. Uh, yeah. No, who knows? Snuffing, sniffing, Ver- sniffing. What is that? S- it's nothing. I don't sniffing. That's that's, sniffing? Uh, that's snorting gravel. I think. <laughs> <Sniffing>. <laughs> That's a real word, I'm pretty sure. Get, Imagine no just getting to the point right, in your life. I these pouches. What? <laughs> I'm not even. Oh, come on. You just keep it and you forget about it. You, you I don't know it. why they're, I'm like, not flavored. About it. It, I notice it more the every tasting? moment. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm forgetting about it. But yeah. I do have the nicotine rush over my head, which is mm-hmm. cool. I suppose that's why you do They it. are disturbingly sweet. Yeah. Like... Uh, you could mm-hmm. give these to a little kid. They'd be into it. <laughs> Dude, imagine. Chew on them. <laughs> so what happens uh, if a little kid, like, five swallows one of these? It's when uh, they got these, uh... Have, like, a good proof. time. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> child-proof, <laughs> yeah. which you can still <laughs> right. open. Yeah. I do, like, because m- normally so in a child-proof <laughs> thing, it's impossible to get out uh, without doing that. Zim mm-hmm. pouches, every time I've seen those... No one seems to, like, go through the yeah, child-proof block. They just rip it open like an orangutan. And so there's no... When I look at that, there's no, like, child-proofing a Zin pouch container. So it's hard to child-proof anything. Kids know how to fucking break shit. Kids are smart fellows. They know what they want, and they'll take it with force. Yeah, one of my parents' pill cabinets when I was younger with just a pair of scissors. Cut those bitches open. <laughs> And you got away with all their Zans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, all my like parents' Oxys. Zans. <laughs> Zantac. Phineas <laughs> was out like a light. My dad yelling, he was like, you drank all my lean. <laughs> <laughs> all the NyQuil I had stored up in there. Yeah, yeah just pouring NyQuil into a red solo cup. being like, this is a lean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fucked up, yeah. bro. I'm kind of a rapper. Kind of faded. I'm kind of a fucking rapper. Kind of faded, bro. Uh, yeah, Jack's being rude. Gross. He's on his phone. Yeah, okay. All the recording. He's sending a, yeah, a like whisper. He's like using it. whisper. <laughs> okay, wait. What, wasn't there... Nothing. Okay, am I crazy? There were, like, those there different apps toilet, guess, where you could, yeah. like, send different... It's called whisper. Was that? There where was you, one, you would send something like, out and then you'd be like... like an anonymous message. Oh, Jimmy, shit, yeah, 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 Jimmy yeah. eats... Jimmy, Jimmy, eats Jimmy su- sucks my cock. And then it would just be like, ooh, Jimmy's gay. And, like, you wouldn't know who sent it out, but yeah. everyone in the school could, like, see that. Well, yeah, but, like, we had that at, in, uh, middle school. in high school. In high school. Or was maybe it was middle school. It was like probably eighth middle grade. school. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, what was the thing the one person said? Like, don't whisper in the dark. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. The, the, the preacher, the preacher guy. Yeah. Right? yeah. Don't whisper, in the, dark, don't whisper in the dark. In the something light. in the light, like just yeah. totally yeah. over dramatic. Cause, like <laughs> people would like obviously like middle school kids when they have this app that's anonymous, yeah. just, and it's just like <laughs> and if you're like around the area, mm-hmm. you'll see the messages. They're like, so and so's a bitch, right? <laughs> it's just, like of course, <laughs> kind of a stupid yeah. bitch. I honestly, that's a really interesting social experiment where like once all the walls are down, it's like what? What are people? What will yeah. people do on a social media app? <laughs> what will they say? What will middle schoolers in particular? Who will they do? become? Just uh, going to a police department, opening up the whisper app and being like, oh my god, I'm a drug dealer. <laughs> and they're like, who is it? <laughs> I don't even know. But I, I think the... Uh, the problem with that prank is it would require there to be a police officer in that department using whisper yeah, at the constantly. time. Guys, look! <laughs> we got one. The operation's a success. The sting, <laughs> sting operation. He's been on this for eight years and some for some reason just stays at the police station. <laughs> yeah. But I think the, because inherently when adults are like, kids don't do that, they always prolong the lifespan of something like that. No. Get that, get off my, get that off my, it's exactly. just, I don't know what it is. It's not, I don't know what it is either. Get it off fine. my computer. Okay. Let's talk about this for a while. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Let's it's address, like a little Let's address thing. what just happened. Jackson threw. I like that. I like it on there. <laughs> 
Well, so I'm, uh, I'm installing Whisper right now. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, okay. Whisper. Yeah, you think your see. neighbors are going to be like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tej, give us, like, Whisper updates occasionally. Like, with, like, location. the coolest Whispers. I think it is, yeah. Like, if you're closer to people, you'll see their Whispers. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. That's how yeah. interesting. Because uh, it's look, like you're whispering to someone. Uh, That's the idea. Yeah. I mean, it's, but it's, Whisper it's a neat loudly. idea. Yeah, no. It's fun. <laughs> I know it's still around. Yeah, yeah. Still well, it, yeah. evidently, Tej is going to check it yeah. out for us. I mean, it is a very like any middle schooler would be like that. Sh- that's sick as fuck. I can just post uh, Miss Miss Applebottom's a bitch Miss on Apple here, Bottom. and they won't be able to find me. Yeah. Hell yeah! But then like that would that would like wear out its charm pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. But if adults are like we see what you're doing on whisper it's like what well you can't do anything i mean we were just like shit posting on it yeah Yeah, yeah, that's like that's what's fun about it i think yeah of course being like all your esperanto suck shit yeah if you guys uh don't want to give us feedback at the email you know you can always just use whisper and like maybe we're close enough yeah and then come to (laughs) maybe we're right there yeah right whisper is about telling people to listen yeah holy shit yeah Everyone, every single listener, we don't have a lot, so we need all of you to do this to have any noticeable effect. Just download Whisper real quick, put out a Whisper that says, listen to Brownberg's podcast. That's all. We have a lot of calls to action, but this is one that you we can't need you to do. You can be confronted for it. It's Whisper. You're yeah, safe. Yeah, it's true. You're safe. You don't yeah. have to reveal to your family. It's like, it's like Tor browser. It's, yeah. it's secret. <laughs> yeah. Completely anonymous. Ooh. Point eight miles away. Let's spend the day in bed. Ooh. Ooh. Sexually, can you sleeping? Can you message them like, "Where are you?" <laughs> you can you can reply to them. That's like, what the hell? Reply to them. Reply to them. Chat and reply, reply to every whisper. Listen to the Brownberg podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no. Like, hey, you're a marketing manager yeah, now. You've yeah, officially yeah. inherited that role. <laughs> can you get banned hey, off shit. Whisper? Hey, I'm down for a meetup. Oh, maybe you should meet up with us. Say, meet us in the virtual realm, aka by listening to our podcast, the Brown Bricks so podcast. Like, if we go meet up with these people, we're showing up in like a four person, <laughs> <laughs> and they're, and they're just, just a single be, person. What the fuck? Well, here's what we do: we we'll be like, yeah, meet us at like the park nearby, right? And then we spy out and we try to see them before they oh, see shit, us, yeah. and then we spread out so we're all like in different, like four, you know, cardinal yeah, directions, yeah. and we close in on. Them. No, and then we all say, <laughs> yeah, then they're just like. Them. And then we all say yes. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, like as we approach, we're also turning, so we're like turning. We around. are a hive mind. Yeah, yeah. all called Tage. I don't know what the benefit of this would be, but we could tell people that we did it, and then they go, "Why?" <laughs> the other person's like, "Well, I was planning on meeting with someone to tie them up and rape them, but, but uh, now that there's three of you, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I guess we can have a good time together." Yeah. How desperate out. as a rapist do you have to be to just you know like throw that line out? Just be like, "Hey, somebody want to meet? Yeah, does someone want to meet up here?" Stand. And then, yeah. well, no, don't just show me. Read it out. That's, All right. That's Any disgusting. straight guys want to hang Any downtown Omaha? Guys. Here. Like what? Why would you preface it with like straight guys? So like, is it, let's analyze. Like, this. I, is this a guys, woman? It's probably they I, want you or to like assume it's a gay woman. guy that wants to turn straight men what's gay the, or so. What's I, don't I know, feel like affect them with women the have an easy enough time getting dick via <laughs> Tinder, which makes me this. think that this is a weird repressed gay person who's like sh- struggling with their <laughs> or may, or maybe it's just a like maybe it's just a dumbass kid. It's too. also it, that's probably the most likely answer. Someone just fucking around. Every single one of these. No, I these are all real people yeah. with legitimate. With fucking Leg- claims, neuroses that need to fucking. They really get want to whisper. meet any straight guys. Can you send out a whisper that says, "Want to come?" I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get banned off whisper? Because Tash is on the fast track for that. <laughs> I just like the idea. Like, you read that, you're like, "I do." Do they have a preposition? They're like, "Not for me." <laughs> <laughs> want to come? I don't. Bait and switch. Yeah. Right there. Uh, fuck. What? 18-year-old male just caught my 53-year-old boyfriend cheating on me. What do I do? This is fake. This is so fake. Uh, Wait, has anyone responded with life advice? No. Well, I don't think you can see that. Maybe you should say, well, you should listen to the Brown Bricks podcast. (laughs) Be like, yeah, be like, we'll address this on episode uh, 18 of the Brown Bricks podcast. (laughs) 
Please look forward to it. Please look forward to it. And <laughs> Say it like a Japanese yeah, outro. Yeah. They always, I don't Please know, everything's forward. way over formal with like a lot of Japanese like games or announcements. Yeah. They're like, here's an announcement for like a Jujutsu Kaisen anime, and then there's a bunch of guys in suits who are like, we're very excited about working, Oragaishimasu. Presenting <laughs> this trailer and, to you. And then it's like, well, like, I, you could just post this. Please like, you didn't have to. Look forward to the full demo coming soon. To a to a download near you, it's like wow. It, it I wonder if Japanese people have like if English people would have like a hype man in that role. Their media manager is just a guy who can like navigate business situations really well. And then it's like, hey, you go, you you run our Twitter, and then they're like, oh, guy Is there someone like when Japanese people try and move to America, they have to take a class to learn how to be disrespectful towards yeah. working class people. They they have to work to at that one American culture. Yeah, what's the one restaurant where they spit Dick's, on your food? Yeah, Dick's Last Resort. They, they spit Last on resort. your food. At Dick's Last Resort. They do not do that. That'd be Why did illegal. Jack say it then? Why would Jack say it? If it uh, yeah, it's idea. an example. It's. I forgot that we tell jokes. <laughs> this very is literal. a very serious podcast about whispers. Yeah. I want to switch to like just like a financial news podcast, guys. Let's make a pivot already, here. Yeah. We already did a GME episode, though. Oh yeah, yeah but we, we can do multiple. Let's okay. Let's rebrand these right. market snacks. Tej, what stock should people be? Wait, buying hold on. Right Before now, we do this, stocks. I'm gonna play the entire market snacks opening right now. Do the rap. Do the and rap. then and then right now we'll cut into it and Tej. What 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 stock should we be buying? Um, I haven't been following up on stocks though for the past like just two wing months. it, yeah, just wing um, it. You know the ones that are uh, really low right now that you should be looking out for is uh, in the energy sector. Yeah, really. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, because I guess no so. Like your position right. is that you should buy the ones that are low. Which of the ones should you be selling? <laughs> so what you want to do is, this is pretty this is pretty cool right so if you buy stuff low and you yeah. think it's going to go higher yeah right yeah so you buy lower yeah and then you you sell when it's higher yeah okay and what's I'm, what's the outcome of that, doing that um what see that if do? you buy a stock when it's lower uh-huh and then it goes higher yeah. you make the difference in that so what does that wait so let's say so let's say if you get one stock worth eight dollars and if it goes up to ten, because you're like, okay, you know, okay. if you if you fucking found value in that company I'm that following. no one else saw, yeah, yeah, and you make two dollars profit, it's is that hold on, I'm a Twitter on, idiot on the one who day. doesn't. Why is it stocks? everyone doing this? On the one stock there, that's all I had to do. That's yeah, not even that's, that much profit. Like, why even bother? Only two dollars. Uh well, yeah, well there's a lot of there's a lot stock. of other you know companies and stuff you know there, you, there's riskier stocks you know there's safer blue chip stocks yeah you know, there's is a whole lot more. If and you get and what this. is a stock? <laughs> uh, so a stock yeah, is just what, basically what is money? It's a piece. It's a piece of the. Company. Where am I? <laughs> you can be your very own capital. I'm stuck. rich. I'm rich, st- poor. I'm stuck everyone. in the basement here for six <laughs> days out of the week, and then one day they just <laughs> bring me up here and they say, "Be you funny, <laughs> be funny." Yeah, no. Joke. I'm like, I don't want remember, to. Remember the time that we didn't let Phineas out of the basement and we said he was on vacation so he yeah. couldn't come to the podcast? Then we yeah. were like, you're going to be funny now, right? And he's like, yes. Yeah, I was trying to not be funny. That time I wasn't funny, they punished me for that. Yeah, it's so true. Whipped him. And so me not being funny wasn't me the last... just not being funny. It was, oh, yeah, I guess. It was me trying to rebel. Yeah, we really mm-hmm. punished you for that joke about the Chimera Ant arc being the Ross and Rachel <laughs> breakup oh, yeah. of friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were like, you can't, you can't get out of the Never basement again. Yeah, damn, we're already it. just going back to referencing our own podcast. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> only we, we 18, got the greatest, 18 in, we've run out. <laughs> we got the greatest tired. hits. Here. This is the last episode. Uh, I'm sorry. We, we Tej, we still never did a topic with you. I've always, oh, yeah. I've always wanted to do like yeah, Tej's topic. topic. Well, Tej was pretty lukewarm on topics in general. Be like, what do you want to do? This topic? You'd be like, oh, I don't know. Well, okay. we yeah, wanted to do like psychological studies, which I found interesting. But how mm. can we make jokes about that? Well, we can I make mean, fun of easy. the mentally impaired. Yeah, we do that. We already all the time. did that in the homeless episode. <laughs> that's we can always go back to that. We can always, yeah, we can always go back to making fun of mentally impaired people. The homeless people. That's a that's a that's a bag rife for the classic for the plundering. Bottle of worms. Bottle of worms. Yeah, the classic bottle of worms. We can open up. Is bottle drink. of worms a saying? Yeah. Now it is. 
on this. Uh, for a mean? second, I thought the foam on the top of Tasha's Jack and Coke was some Zin patches that he put in. <laughs> so he just yeah. inserted Zin the patches into cocktail. the Jack and Coke. <laughs> Dropped one in. That's fucking gross. I feel like I fucking took an edible earlier all of a sudden. Because you're just used out of it? A little bit, yeah. That's too bad. Just the just <sighs> grogginess. Groggy as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Let's do a meth episode. That'd be pretty cool. A raw meth. Crocodile. Then we just start eating each other midway through the episode. Yeah. We'd have to get someone else to edit yeah, and upload. Get, like cause... some like free base PCP. Dip some cigarettes in it. And cut our mm. cocks off. That'd be pretty yeah. cool. Oh, yeah. I, I should. I told you guys about those. Funny. I was watching a documentary show about drugs, and I won't go too into it. But there's one scene where a guy who did PCP is talking about a time where he cut off his dick, and. Uh, He's, like, trying to be wholesome and positive about it, like, silver lining kind of stuff, where he's like, you know, I learned from that, you know, I'm a better person now. But he's, like, still bragging about his dick. He's like, you know, and you know, I was proud of my nine and a half inches. <laughs> it's like, um, damn, you cut off your cock and you're still going to, like, brag about how big it is? Yeah, <laughs> the phantom cock. Well, I mean, if you if you cut off your cock, would you not be like, man, all 12 inches of that yeah, thing no, I'm Yeah, I would lie, yeah. <laughs> I'd frame it. Put it squishy. Well, down. then you couldn't lie about how big it was before you yeah, put it off. Oh, you can just, just soft, stretch right it out like silly when buddy. When it's soft, it, nobody can ever tell. You can never tell how big a dick is when it's soft. That's that's a misnomer. But you can make I'm it make a quick I'm going to cut my dick off when it's hard so it stays that way when it's cut that's off. That's what people do. <laughs> yeah, tie it off like, at the end. <laughs> yeah, tie it off. Like it's a base. balloon. I've, put a I've heard that. around it. <laughs> the only people I hear that from are from people who are trying to convince women to have sex with them because they're like, see, you may have seen my dick flaccid, but that's not necessarily a one-to-one. -one wait, what situations are dudes in? Wait, so you're saying <laughs> it's a guy where the girl has seen his flaccid penis already, and then just but he still has to convince her to have <laughs> yeah, sex with him? Yeah. Well, no, there's there's multiple trials. It's a it's a, it's a a system, right? Oh, so where, like he had like one interview where she's like, show me yeah. your flaccid penis. And, and then she, like, and then she and takes then, a couple of notes. And then he's didn't... doing a follow-up email after the interview. Like, <laughs> yeah. I think her interview went well. I'd like to, I hope I make <laughs> it to like the to... second round of interviews. Yeah, and I hope hard I get cut. the chance to show you my hard penis, which yeah. is much better. <laughs> I think that is a fact that you cannot technically tell the length of a penis. But I feel like there has to be, penis. like, I mean, matter cannot be created or destroyed. <laughs> therefore, I don't know there has to be... Into for this. I just therefore, there has to be a fucking, like, there has to be a correlation between between the amount of I mean, like, yeah, there's material. growers and showers, but at the same time, like you can probably look at a flaccid penis being like, okay, here's the max, right? Yeah, Only yeah, so no. much blood could be flowing into this thing. It's probably like not, a. It's, it's probably be like hard a, to eyeball. You would need yeah, to be it, well, a fucking scientist. It's <laughs> probably like a damage range in Pokemon, where it's like scientist. this penis could either be. Like, it could either do 110 damage or it could do 85 damage, okay. yeah. but it's somewhere it's in between that. It's almost exactly like Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> but, then, but the thing is, is that that is always, it could, but the thing is, is that, like, if you use an attack, it's always going to be around that damage range. So that attack, it's base power, even if This it, is, look, it's a range, that's what we're saying. You don't need to go to this Pokemon. You don't need to go to this metaphor any further. I'm um, shutting your ass down. <laughs> I don't know what, okay, uh, sure, a good discussion. Yeah, all right, we figured it out. Kind of. His penises have a range of sizes they can be. And that's our conclusion. <laughs> we're so fucking on one today. God damn. Uh, we're not on we're one. Off. If we were on one, <laughs> yeah, we are. That, that is the joke. God damn it. I'm sorry. No, but I'm God cheating. fucking damn it. Bad energies. I thought I coming back up here to where we originally recorded we'll bring back those those initial vibes <laughs> no, but it's all off. all the all the like it it's it's spiting us yeah. for not being it's because we hung out last night we, it's, yeah, we, yeah, when it's we do this it's got to be the first time we see each other in a week <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, it's all week. off uh yeah nothing interesting is ever happening in my life so what's going on with you guys I um i have know? a guy who's in the 90th percentile uh in the chess.com world uh Living, and with, living with me, I found out today because I was like, everyone's playing chess. Carl now. Magnuson, mm. yeah, Magnet Man Magnum Dong, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> have you played chess against him? Uh, no, I'm intimidated too. But he has a chessboard in his room that he constantly is like, we should play. And then he constantly sits by and waiting <laughs> for people to walk by his room, walk into the room for a game. <laughs> it's like yeah. Drew, don't you have anything better to do with your time? And he's yeah. like, no. Of course not. You I want to crush chess. people. <laughs> so does he compete? 
No, he just likes playing chess. Fucking He's just a smart guy. Fucking weirdo. That's, that's, that's not weird. That's that like weird. That's like, it's like, oh, do you, you play Overwatch? It's like, do you compete? It's like, nah, I just like to play the game. I'm not, I'm not in the 90th percentile The Overwatch difference players. is, Overwatch is fun, and chess is... <laughs> <laughs> chess sucks, dude. Well, uh, I don't know if you're that good at it. I don't know. I feel like you would feel the desire to compete because you already do kind of play yeah. on chess.com. Well, that's, I mean, he's competing in that sense where he's facing other people of equivalent skill and he's like, this is cool. Like, I don't think is he there ever. Is there a ranked system in chess? I yeah. Like ELO thing in yeah. ELO. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I feel like any game that doesn't tell you how you rank versus other players is a, <laughs> is a missed opportunity. People who don't like skill based matchmaking are fucking weirdos. People who don't yeah. like it. Like, people who, who complain about that in COD like all the time. Because people are yeah. like, I want to crush noobs, basically. Wh- no, like, there's so many people yourself. Well, there's a huge... Like other people crushing you. Right? No, there's it's a like, huge... People would rather of, have, like, a chance. At, like, a chance to ob- absolutely dominate yeah. than, than be forced I, to play against people. Are, it's so like, stupid, I agree. There but. is a weird thing where there was, like, a huge backlash on Twitter against COD. Yeah. Because they were like... They're not let they, they're changing it so it's a skill based matchmaking now and I'm like what that's literally just good matchmaking that it they're should, adding yeah, you should have that because people should have a good time yeah playing when, against people that are at a similar level when I have like thirty minutes to play a game and I'm an adult and I sit down and I just get the shit kicked out of me yeah. by a guy who's <laughs> just like no they can't have skill based matchmaking <laughs> I like, will say I, it was fun. Like, when you would occasionally just get a horrible fucking team. Yeah. Like, back when we used to play a lot of COD in, like, high school. Like, it was fun to just, like, crush shitty children. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. But it's also, it's the kind of fun where, like, there's people who are like, all right, I've had fun like that. I want that to be the whole game. The fact that you're denying me this opportunity to have this for every single match. I hate you. And it's like, or maybe you should just, like improve a lot like maybe you should just be facing people of equivalent skills so you could also get better at the game yeah just be better i don't know cod feels like one of those ones where it's like it doesn't really matter i never felt like i was playing people of the same of a skill Mm -hmm. level at all i don't even know if they were good the there's there's a on the pokemon trading card game online um the way that you get matched up against people is through like uh, if you just go through like basically quick play um the way that it's like a ladder where it's like slowly you'll earn points if you do like wins but the ladder resets every single like couple of weeks oh, and there's like a yeah. new card on there that you can like earn if you get enough points but regardless the thing is is that normally once you get up to a certain point in the ladder you're normally facing people about equivalent of you once you get onto like the third rung of that ladder but then when it resets you just start with people who are like they don't know what they're doing they're a child and you're like i'm sorry like i just i'm yeah. sorry little billy oh well, yeah pokemon differs from that and that like i feel like pokemon crushing someone is less satisfying than like cod or like yeah. a shooter there's like there's a lot of people in those games. Killing. killing there's a lot of people fun. who really enjoy I'm playing a gamer like and it control makes me violent. <laughs> or it's like my deck its job is to make you waste as much time as possible until I win because you can't do anything for 80 turns. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, those kinds of decks, oh god, they give me so much AIDS. They exist in like every card game too, because people design those kinds of decks for like, some reason. No, it's even more than that. Like the people who have the mental fortitude to say, I'm gonna play a deck, that literally just wastes people's time. Like the entire point of this thing is to like basically Drive just waste you my and your time. Yeah. And there's, like, some sort of skill that's around that, because you have to, like, know how to shut off, like, what your opponent's doing, but... Uh, those are, like, some of the best decks in Hearthstone, and it makes me so upset. Like, uh, there's, uh, like, warrior decks that are literally just draw their whole entire deck and just outlast you with fuck tons of armor yeah. and defensive capability... And it's like, why are you doing this? I know it's we'll, we'll get you the win in the end. Yeah, but you're not having fun. I'm not having fun. Are we, are we both hate this. <laughs> like, if they, there has to be some sort of psychological thing where some people literally just play those games to win, and they don't care yeah. how they win. They're just like, as long as I'm playing the most optimal, like, so because a lot of those, a lot of those games, like you could beat them. But the matter of beating them is like, all right, I could stay in here for 20 minutes and beat them, or I could play three more games where I'll lose one and win two. And it's like, oh, I'll just do that. And so you, like, exit out of that game, mm-hmm. but or you, like, concede it. Uh, and they know that they're going to get wins that way because it's, like, wasting their time on such a monumental level. It just means that no one's going to want to play against you. 
And uh, so they know that that's the easiest way to, like, rack up wins. That this, or, is, this is when they're playing for competitions? or uh, No, just playing on the ladder. Like, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. Like, the only thing that matters is, like, you have to go really deep to see, like, your win-loss record on Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. So it's like it's it's only for like just their own self ego or whatever. Uh, they just I mean, like see. I would respect them if like oh it's like for money or something. Yeah, like, yeah, do what you have to do to win. But like if it's just for fun, and also playing against so people oh, from. We're back. Yeah, boys. we're back. We're better than ever. The energy's higher than it's ever been. <laughs> they improved our moods. Yeah. Someone wiggle at someone. Wiggle at. Uh, uh, it doesn't super matter, but apparently when it goes to sleep for long enough, wow, that's a this is a great way to start it. And we're back. <laughs> and we're fucking back. <laughs> Woo! Um, what's uh? I've been reading a bunch of uh, Archie comics, uh, Archie Sonic comics, Archie Sonic comics, Again, and prep for our Murray all? interview. Uh, I've read them all. Yeah, probably. I, I probably. <laughs> Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, it's the only reason. They're yeah, kind of cool. They're pretty neat. I, I really enjoy them. Especially, I mean, once you get to, like, the Ian Flynn writing stuff, like, once you, yeah. when you're in, like, Ken Pender's saga stuff, where it's just, like, complete nonsense, and just a guy who wants to, like, masturbate to all the furries. Uh, all the knuckles, the echidnas. Oh, yeah. Female knuckles. <laughs> uh, her name is, uh, Jane Sue. Jane. Knucklehead. Yep. Jane Sue the Echidna. Jane well, they Sue. they all have like a uh, Knuckles. Knuckles' real name is not Knuckles. What is it? Surprise! I don't remember. But all of the all of the Echidna have like abbreviated names, or they'll have like a, like a grunt followed by like another like kind of. So it's it. Well, they're they're They've very got their native names. They do. They, it's a very they're a very tribal people. They don't believe in a lot of technology. They divorce yeah, themselves from the thing. world through Angel Island, uh, fl- floating above. Um, but then there's sense. also the Dark Triad, or the the yeah the Dark Triad, which is like an offshoot that believes in technology, and then they go in. And an offshoot of what? The offshoot of like regular echidnas, and so they're just a bunch of echidnas, and they work with Eggman a lot. But then Eggman implanted a bunch of things that were like. It, then they were like, uh, they implanted a bunch of things into their minds that were like bombs. So he's like, if you don't work for me, I'm just going to kill you. And they're like, okay, I guess. All right. And there's this really horrifying scene where you see a, a kid get her fucking uh, implant get put in. And it's like, you're, you're all cybernetics now. What and she just fuck? starts crying. If you guys were an anthropomorphic animal from the Sonic Archie Comics universe, which would it be? be a dog? So I'd be. Dog. Are these, is this fan fiction? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Basically, They're, I mean, the which Archie real comics are like official Sonic comics, but it's like its own whole storyline. But which yeah. which animal would you be? Would you be a hedgehog? Would you be a dog? Would Hedgehogs. Uh, Hedgehog's a boring answer. I'll tell you that uh, now. So well, I, don't I think mean, you can you get out. An echidna, an echidna gives you so many other like abilities. Like what? You, we can't. Yeah, okay. So the races in this, like, each yeah, have I'd be, special I'd be the guy who's a uh, was he a skunk. Uh, oh, he yeah. has the arm crossbow. I'm yeah. that guy. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, are but you, but Saint, are Saint you a skunk Saint or are you guy? I'm a skunk that looks like that guy, and I also have an arm crossbow. <laughs> He's They're pretty cool. cool. All skunks just have yeah. arm crossbows. That's their defining characteristic in the Sonic universe. Yeah. yeah. Tage is never amused by this nonsense. <laughs> He's always just confused. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. having, well, Tage, be... having Tage in this room when we talk about the show would be the same as like having my dad in here <laughs> to talk about it. He's just like, doesn't know my how dad, to My dad would like take in a little bit of it, and then he'd start talking to me about how... like. In reality, what I'm doing is like bordering on satanic, and how <laughs> and how I shouldn't be reading these Sonic comments because they are a gateway into like uh, Western the Eastern mysticism. Eastern mysticism, <laughs> Western mysticism, whatever. Like you know, that's yeah, fine. That's God and Jesus. That's Western mysticism. I'm not a fan of that Eastern mysticism. Zionism. I think I don't <laughs> think I've told the story. Let's talk about the Jews here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Let's get to Zion. <laughs> to, 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 to pivot away from that real quick, we. <laughs> I don't think I've ever told the story of when me and a couple of my friends were walking down, like, a pier, and we were just, like, talking about, like, random stuff, and my dad was sitting there with us, uh, and he was just, and he was, like, listening to it, and he was like, actually, uh, I'd want to talk to you guys about blah 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 and for some reason, we finally got on the topic of, like, and he was like, 
and the 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 anime that I saw you guys watching, it's it's evil. It is like inherently evil. Like the Eastern mysticism present in there is like inherently corrupting your mind. And so you actually use the words Eastern, Eastern mysticism. And so that's why all of my friends are constantly make fun of me for my love of Eastern mysticism, which is just I like anime. And so it's true, it's very mysterious. <laughs> Yeah, the Eastern. I don't. I don't think I told a, the story of um, fucking. There's this one guy on the same trip. Uh, I went with me, one of my friends Jacob, and another one of my friends Jacob, and we went to like this sushi place uh, on the East Coast uh, where my my fam has like a place. Yeah. And so when we went to that sushi place, we sat down, and it's like fairly expensive, so we weren't gonna like get much. But there's this one guy. He was like sitting uh, like right next to us and he basically he said something like super innocuous and we responded and then that immediately became like us just talking to him the entire time oh, and God, he oh dude I, we, it was so interesting though because he was just like and we started talking to him and he was a guy who was like a real estate broker in like boston and he had this thick boston accent and his son that was sitting across from him was like some hockey player or something and so they were just talking about like their real estate and like how they were screwing a bunch of people out of money and that was kind of funny but then he started talking about like we were talking um he's like do you guys know anything about boston and one of my friends was like yeah we watched like the departed and he's like <laughs> and so then he's like oh yeah no i actually like and we were talking about that and we were like southie we said like southies and so he was like oh we know uh, that basically, and he's like, "Oh, you guys know what the South Side's like," and he's like, "Oh yeah, no, I I knew Whitey Bulger really well, or I knew like uh, he didn't know Whitey Bulger, but he knew the guy who was like the FBI informant for Whitey Bulger's crew, and he said that he would like go to like." pools and stuff with him and there would constantly be like mafia men all around and he was like cool. yeah i didn't feel Hell super yeah. i felt super safe around him but you know it was kind of weird and then he started talking about the day that everyone found out that he was an informant uh to whitey bulger for the like from the fbi he would just like turn to him and he's like listen you knee deep in shit johnny what are you gonna do and he's like i I don't know, I think, and then he, like, then in that Little League game, police came and, like, took him into custody, and then he got, so, yeah, it was an interesting story, but yeah, he was a neat guy, but then he paid for our entire sushi meal, which is super nice of him, Uh, but we should have definitely ordered more sushi, because if we knew that was going to happen. I like this Jap shit. (laughs) (laughs) Tastes good. Yeah, it it is always interesting to see inside the mind of a real estate broker, because they're just, like, they're crazy people. Is is that always interesting? I thought I'm it was so interesting. I'm sure that guy was interesting, but you think all of them are interesting? <laughs> Every real estate If they pay broker? for my sushi, then yes. I hate talking to people I don't know. I'm so uninterested in them. Depends. Like, I whatever. need, like, I need to be with other people I do know. Yeah. To give me the confidence. Yeah. But whatever. To be rude and confrontational to a new person. I like talking to My parents Actually, will, like, try and talk to someone at, like, somewhere public or whatever. Um, uh, like, try and get me engaged with the conversation. And I'm like... Stop. I don't give a fuck I like about talking to people. random people. No, I hate it. They're no, I... There's spies. Actually, a bunch of people... I probably should talk less to random people. I was at the bars on Thursday, and... Bad. Yeah, whatever. I, I'm, I'm fully vaccinated, for reference, and I... <laughs> for yeah, rabies. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't get rabies at the bar, luckily. Got mad corona, though. Um, the, Maybe vaccinated against responsible thinking. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I fucking, I went to the the bars, and there's this one, like, Asian guy who kept being, like, trying to, like, get into our group while we were dancing, and he'd, like, put his arm around me, and he'd be like, California girl, and I'd be like, okay, cool, and I, like, danced Uh. with him or whatever, and he basically, um, he, he, like, kept trying to, like, introduce or like talk to us and no one else was giving him the time of day but i was like oh no i'll talk to this guy and then he just like sat down next to me and i'm like oh god Uh, and then i asked best friends now and now the the only thing i was like i don't know what to talk to this man about now i tell him about our podcast no (laughs) (laughs) fuck dude that would have been amazing Uh, Uh no but um i was like i don't know what to talk to this man about um so then i was just like so if you woke up tomorrow morning and you were in the body of Ted Cruz and you sounded (laughs) exactly like him, what would you do? How would you go about that? And he was like, I think I'd, uh, 
I think I just fuck bitches. And I'm like, I, I do. Like, there's, it is interesting. Cause was this guy, like, super drunk at this point? or He was, like, he was, like, mildly intoxicated, but he person. just seemed like an asshole. Like, was he, like, 25? Or, like, was he your age? Uh, yeah, he was around my age. Um, but he was, uh. yeah, he was just, like, it was really funny, because I gave him these hypotheticals, because I had literally nothing else to talk about. <laughs> and, all and he's, like, fuck bitches. And, like, and he, I was just, like, what about <laughs> Nancy? <laughs> answered po- everyone. <laughs> yeah. And I was, like, uh, I don't think you get, I was, like, what about, like, Nancy Pelosi? He's, like, couldn't fuck bitches. I think okay, I just well, killed to myself. Okay, well, to be fair, when you asked him Ted Cruz, and his first thought was, fuck bitches, why do you think you're gonna get, like, a better answer a more, than Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe he was like, 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 well, that one, I would actually try to make some, you know, real change in this nation. <laughs> and then he just, then he just started talking about, like, how AOC was hot. And he was like, but if I was in the Rock's body, you couldn't stop me. You couldn't, I'd be a sexual machine. I'm like, I need to use the restroom. (laughs) And then I I just... And then Jack crawled out the bathroom window. (laughs) Yeah, well, then after that, I just, like, I stayed there for, like, ten minutes. And my friends were like, yeah, he's gone. They, like, texted me. He (laughs) said, say, Jack, your your shelter has left the man who touched you. And so that's why I probably shouldn't engage randoms with conversation as much as I do. But I still, I think there's enough situations where I find interesting conversation versus, like, people who are just weird. See, I think you could have a fun time with that guy if you were just really rude to him. And we're like... <laughs> yeah, you, really. Like, when he said the Ted Cruz thing, you'd be like, that's what you would do, really, if you were Ted Cruz? <laughs> He's not, like... He doesn't get a lot of pussy, I don't think, Ted Cruz. <laughs> I, like, I was oh, like... With your charisma, you would get... Yeah. You would crush pussy. I, uh, I was gonna, like... Because he's going to get mad at that. You guys... And that's going to be fun. <laughs> that's hilarious. I don't know. I feel like that's the perfect... Or maybe he won't understand. We, I need the yin to my yang, which is just yeah. like, you guys, when I pull someone into the orbit of talking to us, then you guys can just actually engage them in like funny conversation as opposed to my banal conversation. Yeah, but I'm you're, just you're like, too worried about facilitating an easygoing conversation. Yeah. You gotta be... You gotta yeah, have yeah, no fear. The awkwardness. <laughs> I'm not gonna see that guy again, unless... Unless you will. Yeah, unless I... I should've told... I do, I should've just go around. That, Jack, <laughs> Fuck, we, we have a guest. We have it here today. <laughs> he's like, hello. It turns out it was Francis Fu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Francis Fu, if he's just a fuck boy. We, I mean, yeah, we should stop saying Francis Fu. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, probably... 40,000 people named Francis Fu. That's true. Maybe it's uh, Francis uh, Boo. I don't know. <laughs> that's a, sca- that's a scary Boo. Francis. <laughs> Jokes about Francis Fu is only, are only funny if you know him. He's just the... Here's a story about Francis so and so. Thanks. One, time, one less beep I have yeah. to do. We were it's at a very short beep that it's like what what, is, what names could fit in the beep that lasts less than a second. There was a school thing where me and others were at a lake with Francis so and so, and there was a storm coming. So our teacher, I was going to say his name, I pivoted. Our teacher, <laughs> hardcore. Our teacher was like, all right, we should go. I, there's a house nearby that a family member of mine owns so that we can get away from the storm. But we're like, where's Francis so-and-so? And, <laughs> and he had just he saw the storm and he's like, I'll walk into it. And then he walked back after walking at the storm. He's like, yeah, I just wanted to walk towards the storm. And we're like, why is that a thing you wanted to do? He's just like a mystery <laughs> like, alien, alien man. He's one with nature. He's just yeah. like a roaming no, My favorite traveler. Francis story is when we were on our class trip to Chicago. Oh, God. Like our, yeah. Oh, our yeah. Senior, yeah. Our and he, senior class he did not trip like officially Chicago. go with us. He didn't like sign up to go. No. Yeah, he was one of the people who was just not going to go. So we were wandering around the Miracle Mile, like looking at shops and stuff because we had like some free time or whatever. And I think we walk into like some store or something, and out comes Francis with one of like the students at our school that's like a grade higher than us. (laughs) And she's like, she's there with him, like carrying his bags, and he's walking out of the store. We're like, Francis, what are you doing here? He's like, Oh hey guys! Yeah, like like oh wow, crazy running into you here when I like skipped out on the class trip to Chicago. Like you guys are in Chicago, that's crazy. Like, what are you talking about, you fucking maniac? <laughs> you should know we're here. What? He's also like really into architecture, so constantly he would just be like building like houses that he would just be like, this would be a really cool 
architectural feat if we could make this. And, I, and he would just be doing that in free periods and stuff. And I just said, that's cool, Francis. And now he's like a male model somewhere. Because I constantly yeah, see him on Instagram yeah. where he's just on... Like yeah, boats yeah, and in like hot chicks, or yeah, in like private like, islands. He just and he's like a skinny, weird looking motherfucker. Yeah, he's, so, but he's, he's got well, some yeah, that's crazy perfect for being like a high fashion yeah. model. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he definitely exudes model energy. I guess like they not at the time when we knew him. Yeah. Certainly not. But I, just, I, I can I can seen. see how he could become that. Yeah, I thought it was funny that the uh, senior that was there with him was we were like, oh, why are you here with? Francis yeah, as well, and she's like, "I'm his personal assistant." And I'm like, "What the fuck?" Did oh, remember when that? Yeah, uh, she was when like, he came to one was... of my parties with her. Yeah, he was like, and they drank the, the like... church wine. I don't, I don't like, remember what that. Of, what of our parties? Like that was their preferred drink, church wine. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, Tage. Because yeah, I had like, Tage through parties all the time in high school, and he had a big jug of church wine that he like stole from a church or something. Your no, brother. it was just there. Uh, I thought you were just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it came with the house. <laughs> I thought that your brother just like stole a big old jug of church wine. That'd be fun. It was fucking yeah. sickly and disgusting. Yeah. It was like sips, very sweet. It was sad. the blood. It was the blood, yes, of the blood of Christ. I guess, yeah. I, I guess, guess he didn't have the body good. to go with it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. He needs some bread. He needs some pizza rolls. Can, yeah, on can the, side. the pizza rolls count as the body mm. of Christ if you yeah. bless them? I'm sure. Yeah. Do we have any? Yeah, how did we always have we are. Went to your house in high school for Christ so much, and your mom never made any sort of Indian food. Always pizza rolls. I've had yeah, maybe. I've had Tasha's yeah. mom's Indian food. It's pretty good. Well, yeah, she I've made, had, yeah, she made yeah. it maybe once. She didn't. It was always pizza rolls, and I think that was a waste. I pizza yeah. rolls are pretty good drunk food, anyways. Yeah, they can't. Add, we can't food. ask Tasha's mom to make Indian food yeah, for can. however many kids yeah, we have we can. there. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. No, yeah, did, this was very illegal underage drinking we were doing constantly. Allegedly. We went, like, pretty hard in high school on the booze. Yeah. Like, yeah. me and Jack were talking like about the car. Bartons. Yeah. Bartons, but, like, life. But we, like, we drank a pretty substantial amount of Bartons in high life. For and then we would drive kids, home yeah. three hours later yeah. because we were good. Yeah. No, but it was... <laughs> totally good, yeah. <laughs> no, it, well, it was a matter of... I was talking to Phineas about how it. there's something about... Where initially, because in high school, we used to be able to pound Bartons all day, every day, no chase, totally fine. And then now, I'm just like, if I take like a sip of Bartons, I'm like, ugh, God, this is the worst thing in the (laughs) world. And I'm like, I need something to chase that down. And I've been thinking about why. And I was talking to some of my friends, and we discovered, we came to the conclusion that... It's like your brain initially, you're trying to convince it. You're like, this is fun juice. This yeah, Bartons, this is going to be really fun juice. Go-go and so juice. you start drinking that, and you're like, oh, no, this is this will be fun. Your brain's like, well, it tastes bad, and I think it's bad for me, but you know what? I'm going to like. I'm gonna trust you. This is fun juice. And then you have just time after time of horrible experience <laughs> where it just <laughs> ends up doing nothing bad. but bad things to your body. And then your brain is not able to be overridden yeah. by like your ability to mm. say, no, this is fun juice. And now it's like, no, th- I know that's poison. Like, I know you're poisoning me. And now we have to like water down all, yeah. j- all gotta, things. We've got to trick ourselves. This is a booze. It's a... It's just a regular it's just soda. It's just a coupe. And beer is like slow enough of a rise yeah. uh, that you probably, your body's like, yeah, well, I probably just drank too much of that. But like with Barton's, you don't need to drink a lot before you're just like on the floor. It could have no alcohol and you might vomit just because of how bad it tastes. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you, I mean, you can't replicate that flavor without alcohol. That's how like poison dart frogs, frogs taste when you not. put them in your mouth. Uh, uh, no, I bet. Put them dart frogs. I think they taste like gummy bears, and then you just because they're colorful. Yeah, yeah. See, humans are like most of the time bright colors are like don't eat that. But at this point, I see bright colors and be like, that's probably yummy. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, we've we've officially gotten to the point in evolution where we fucked ourselves. Yeah. If there's ever a, like, because that's that's like berries and stuff. Yeah, I know no natural like, like understanding of what things yeah, taste like. Or we, should, we've officially we, isolated ourselves yeah, past the point. Society of, collapses, you know. Like some people survive through the radiation, but the final humans gonna get killed off because they're gonna see 
poison dart frog. Because <laughs> poison like, dart frog was made. And it. hundreds of years ago, when their ancestors were gorging themselves on gummy bears, they're yeah. gonna go, "That's yummy." <laughs> that's a yummy no, gummy actually, bear. Right? They, <laughs> that's a very outside. natural gummy bear. Yeah, no, the final humans bite. lived exclusively on laffy taffy because they were able to <laughs> yeah, insulate yeah. themselves in the that factory. That was the only food that could be manufactured in yeah. the final hours yeah. of humanity. And then after the, the machine ground, shut down, yeah, they're like, "We have to go scavenge." And the first thing that they scavenged, they're like, "We found hundreds of these frogs that were very easy to catch." <laughs> they look like Laffy Taffy. <laughs> this one's banana flavored. <laughs> Where's the jokes on the inside of these frogs? You're pulling out its tongue. Like, is there a joke written on this somewhere? I just, this frog doesn't have a joke on it. Yeah, I, I think it would be funny if, like, there was a group of people that were confined to the Laffy Taffy factory, but then, like, it was like there was some sort of cult or something that all, after this factory shut down, all decided to simultaneously eat poison dart frogs. <laughs> We think this is some sort of ritualistic sacrifice <laughs> no, to how the god of Teff. You know how in Harry Potter they have the chocolate frogs that actually jump oh, around? Yeah, yeah, that's well, if instead that. of chocolate frogs in that world, they had, like, chocolate rats, and they're just, like, big-ass <laughs> rats. <laughs> <laughs> like, you had to use your, like, fully, like, grip it full fist with your hand and just take, like, a giant fight out. And it would, like, squee <laughs> yeah. it's going, And it's, like, like scurrying around. You're like, I love these delicious <laughs> chocolate rats. And, like, tail would like still like move around yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah. that shit is so sadistic in Harry Potter because I could just imagine little kids like plucking the limbs <laughs> off of like a little yeah. chocolate frog and having him be like rah, rah. Yeah, no. my, uh, my uncles blew up frogs with firecrackers <laughs> yeah I think, that's a lot awesome. of people, I think a lot of people had some pretty fucked up things with the animals with especially in the midwest or like yeah. apparently yeah. just you can just like find M- uh, M80s just around and you're just mm. like okay let's see what we can do with this because I think there's an innate fascination with animals. explosions there an animal death <laughs> that humans are drawn to uh, yeah. when I would go down to my grandparents life house like depending like uh, you'd get into like the season where all like the toads are coming out of the water or going to the water because mm. it's like hot and so they have to cross the road that's around the lake yeah and so you'll get, like, thousands of dead toads that have just been run over because there's, just, like, fucking hordes of them yeah. trying to cross the road and cars are driving through, like, I'm sorry, just gonna fucking kill all of these toads. I remember a teacher that turned out to be a pedophile, we didn't know it at the time, um, was telling us about how well he was in Australia. That's not really important to the story, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, adds, it adds texture. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of does. I think yeah. it's a notable thing to bring up. He's telling us how well he was in the Peace Corps in, like, Australia... Um, he was, like, it, the family that he was staying with one night just, like, handed him a golf club, and they're like, come with us, and he went outside, and it was pitch black, and no one had any lights on, and so then everyone just started swinging, and he could, because there's, yeah. in Australia, there's a bunch of these toads that they migrated the over to there, toads, yeah, yeah, the cane toads that yeah. have, like, no natural predators, so they just multiply indefinitely. You're so, like, just, just for fun, there was just a bunch of people just whacking the shit out of them with a golf club, and I'm like... That's just weird to do. Yeah, it's, it's like, a weird, like, sadistic thing where it's, like, I, I guess, like, if they're, like, pests, I just want to get rid of them as fast as possible yeah. if they're, like, making my life a living hell, but... Um, have fun whacking toads. Yeah, there is, like, this... I don't know, it's just not, like, there's, like, a child, like, it's like, ah, see things get hurt, interesting, but, like, now that I know what it's like when you something know, gets hurt, I'm like, I just feel bad for one it. One thing I don't have a problem, like, mercilessly killing is bugs. I, I don't like killing bugs. I will fucking, uh, like, uh, at my house, uh, I think some bugs, like, somehow got into, like, the bathroom or something, uh, what, like, not stink bugs, something like that, maybe they're stink bugs. But they'll, like, fly around in the shower. And if I see them while I'm showering, I will fucking try and swat them out. And I'll drown them down the fucking drain. I I always try to pick up spiders with, like, toilet paper and, like, put them outside. Spiders are fine. Spiders are great. I'm not going to kill a spider if I see it. But if I see a bug flying around while I'm showering, you're dead. The gnats, the little tiny ones, those aren't even, like, creatures to me. (laughs) Yeah, that's that's just, like... (laughs) That's, like, a death. That's a thing that needs to die. Like, that's... just, like, a microbe, almost. Like, you kill all sorts of microbes who cares? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like there, like the with spiders, there's still a sense of like this thing probably feels fear and pain, and even if it's fear, I don't know. Like a very base instinct of survival. Yeah, but like fear in the sense that like it causes like distress in the same way it does for humans and like yeah other like yeah I don't know about mm-hmm. that. I don't know. I still think like, I, I even shellfish like they don't like 
They've I mean, I don't know the exact, I'm too drunk to know the exact science, but, like, the neuroscience behind it is, like, they just have, like, very simple neural pathways, which yeah. is, like... There are is not as developed. Yeah, it's it's that, like, exactly. Something that small, yeah, is not going to have a brain that lets you experience anything super in-depth emotionally. Yeah, it can't understand monogatari. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to be able to determine what its favorite waifu is. Yeah, if you ask... And that's it. why it deserves to die. Yeah, Jack, that's true. Jack just saw, like, Monster Masuma, and he's like, spiders are nice. <laughs> I don't want to fuck I, No, I just... Well, like, also spiders do nothing but, like, help. Like, unless you, like, yeah. try to aggravate them. I mean, them. you shouldn't kill spiders unless... Like, if it's my bathroom, I'm like, this is where I shit. <laughs> yeah. Then it's gonna get killed, you know? But if it's just, Take like, the wrong in some spot. corner, that yeah. doesn't matter to me. Yeah, because it's just be a spider. spider. Yeah, it's it's be eating fucking bugs. That's sweet. Mm. Yeah, I dig it. Um, spiders are cool. I'd, I'd fuck a spider if it yeah. was a hot woman. I had a pussy. Yeah, I had a fat ass pussy. Yeah, you fucked Shelob. Oh yeah. Well, did you see in the there's like the new like Mordor games or whatever that came out? That was the, all the all the ones with like the nemesis system. Yeah. Um, Shelob just turned in. They turned her into like a sexy whammy. girl. Yeah, yeah, I did hear. About they, that. they, the, the spider from Lord of the Rings. Uh, they came out, like the one of the video games made some artistic insp- uh, interpretations of the, <laughs> some the giant liberties, spider. Yeah. yeah, and so then they're like, "Yeah, this is just a hot woman who you can." I don't think you what's, can fuck in that game. What's but. the lore reason why she's a hot woman? Uh, is I she think originally a woman. I think the idea was that she was like a shapeshifter, and they and she it, got stuck as being a spider. I think there was I just think the she scariest just thing. To be yeah. a spider at the time. I think that was just the scariest thing. Such a bitch and then sometimes spider. she chooses to be a hot lady. Yeah, <laughs> check and respect. <laughs> Because all those, those, both those games, Shadow of Mordor uh, and whatever, they take place before Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty cool. They're fun. Imagine. Of, of what I played of one. Hot Lady Spider. Uh, how about, what other monster girls do we want to fuck? Uh, I don't really want to fuck any monster girls. Like, well, that's, that's a like weak mindset. Excessive one, that's a fucking weak I mindset. Suppose. I'd fuck a slime girl. That's, that's yeah. Slime girl, oh. sh- Sure, but even then, like, that's just, like, I wouldn't not, it's not like I'm more into it than, like, a regular person, you know? Kind of, uh, I feel like a Lamia would be weird. Lamia yeah, would be, the f- pussy well, just the pussy is just a, be that's, a snake lady. For they're gonna have reference. a cloaca, probably, right? Yeah. Well, well like, if we're talking, like, are we talking Monster Musume? Talking yeah. Talking realistic. In, in doujins, they always, like, even still have a pussy, it's just, like, on their snake body. Well, which, it looks like at the very bottom, where they're body connects to the snake part. Yeah, like, but it's like weird because it's like... If you had their snake body laid out and then you like overlaid a real woman, that's where the pussy lines up with the tail. <laughs> yeah, but it's also like it's like flat against their body. Yeah. It's where like... a cloaca is on a snake though. Um, it's kind of similar. Jack, what does your dad think about Monster Masume? I don't Why think do you he actually show him. I, if you showed him, I think he would. I think he would yet. kill he might, you. No, I think he might just be like, oh, "It's it's over. We got to start over with this one." <laughs> or he like I, what anime did he watch? Where it's like, "All right, this is the devil or shit." Like he he, he watched like watch. children. There's like a Netflix show called like Children of Wales, and it was literally like it was just yeah, boring. Yeah, yeah. It was literally just like, "Ooh, these guys live in a forest and they have like a little bit of magical power." And my dad saw that and he's like. The devil's at work. The devil's at work in this one. And, uh, yeah, so like, that's... I understand anime criticism if they bring up, like, shit like this, like Monster Masume or, like, yeah. fucking, uh... That's the what's... dungeon one, the hidden dungeon. That's what's funny no, is that, like, healer, yeah. anime... <laughs> you, either, like, anime yeah. needs to... Like, people... Like, it's the same thing with, like, furries, where people will be like, haha, funny men in fursuits, and it's like, ha, anime, screaming boys and waifus, and it's big titty woman, and it's like, you understand that if you did... The barest amount of research you could find infinitely more to hate about <laughs> both of these subjects. Because it's like there's. I know, like our friend was like like making fun of like the grunts they always do in anime. You're like, you think that's bad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that's why like when our other friend Connor was saying like uh, like get keep watching them, you'll get into it. It's like if you're watching Attack on Titan and like you're finding that like grunts. inaccessible yeah. like. Look, anime just might not be for you. <laughs> yeah. And that's fine. There is a certain, like, threshold that you have to be, like, when you watch... There's, there's like, intro stuff where it's, like, if you watch, like, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and you are and you just say, oh, this is kind of weird. Like, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this. It's, like, you may just never like anime. That's yeah. that's something I've come to the conclusion with, like, my sister and my parents. I'm, like... I remember I tried to show them, like, Wolf Children and a couple of, like, Ghibli movies and they just... 
Did like hated Ghibli them. movies? Dude, they it, hated it, them. It, it, it helps, helps that we started yeah. watching it when, like we I said done. earlier, we had like sponge putty brains that yeah. just yeah. suck <laughs> up everything. And it shaped us to the degenerates yeah. we are now. Uh, we didn't finish talking about which monster girls we fuck. Um, um, I guess slime is the one that'd be most hard girl? Of... Not gonna do No. It. Big, no, just too big of a pussy. pussy. Yeah. No. Pussy too big. Uh, let's see. Jerry, uh, oh, VR. oh, what about, okay, kind of similar to Lima, mermaids. Mermaids? No, because they're still gonna have that weird-ass yeah, mermaids, pussy on their no. tail. Yeah. I don't get people, though, who are like, dude, I, I just want to fuck it so I get bad that I want the... Mermaid, no, but the, like, opposite. Like, the people who are <laughs> into, like, the flips. <laughs> she had, like, those fish teeth. Well, why would they what? have fish teeth? Why not, are you that'd be so, that? I don't know. That'd be so funny if you had, like, a normal human body for half of it, except for, like, weird fish teeth. They had, like, oh, wait, whale what, teeth, what where they had, like, the teeth? bristles. Yeah, bristle, bristle teeth would be yeah, pretty they, good on your dick. They filter feed my semen. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. And then when, they, when they're when they done, like, sucking you off, they yeah, just go... A, a whale girl. And then they yeah. shoot them out of their head. They shoot a bunch of water. Yeah, a whale subspecies of mermaid, where they're just, they're just fat. Yeah. <laughs> I'd call... Um, would I'd you uh, fuck a whale girl's blowhole? Uh, probably depends. Be very uncomfortable. Wouldn't that like they, they wouldn't like it? Yeah, yeah wouldn't wouldn't like it. It. I, you probably wouldn't like it. I, I don't know. There's some girls who are into getting like choked, right? So yeah, maybe. yeah. But what does that have to do with me fucking their blowhole? They well, like maybe it's the same thing where it's like, all right, I don't want to do cause that. Cause I feel like a blowhole is not a conducive hole for fucking. That's that's a weak mindset. That's <laughs> like that's a that's a. That, that, like, people have, like, an ear-fucking fetish, and it's like, how do you even come <laughs> that, up with that, that fetish? That mostly that... comes from the fact that, like, Is that there's... a real fetish, or is, or is it just a joke I saw on Family Guy? No, there, there is legitimately, <laughs> there's legitimately people who will, like, get around having actual sex doing ear-fucking in, like, the Christian, like, Catholic communities. What? And so what? that's where the Wait, fetish what? comes from, because they're like... All right, like, well, it's just like any hole. Like any hole, like, just, just do like just hand stuff. Well, yeah. some of them probably don't agree that anal is a loophole, but like, if you're willing to do the ears, like, just do hand stuff, right? Like, just it's give them a blowjob. Hand, like, yeah. mouth, yeah. Oral. Like, ear cannot be better than that. Well, right? I don't even understand the logistics of an ear. ear I mean, yeah, you're kind of just mushing your penis against their ear until you come in their eardrum. Uh, <laughs> what yeah. do you think that sounds like? Come in their eardrum. Bu- 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 you think that's what it sounded like to have uh, cotton shooting thought in your that ear? That sounded like a fun little rhyme uh, right there. Your Some sort of metal band could make that song. <laughs> yeah. Come in their eardrum. Um, I guess I'm gonna come in my own ears. What, what is it, yeah? What does ejaculation sound like at the very tip ear, of ear your sex sixty nine ing? <laughs> What's the little? <laughs> you have to have yeah, your you're head both just, like, turned. Yeah. Your ears against each other. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be fucking sick. That's so good. <laughs> stuff your ear in their pussy. Like, yeah. the guys who can stuff their ear inside the own I feel like vocal. if I was looking for a hole, and, like, for some reason I was discounting the ass, the mouth, and hand stuff, I feel like i go for nose before ear. No, okay. No, that's way smaller of a hole. But, it but can no, the ear... Well, no, but it no, opens up. Okay, I guess the very, you like, start... You fit in there still, though. I well, guess there's a difference between, like, that. the actual ear hole and just kind of... I mean, kinda... you, can, you can make it work. You can you can get the tip. You can get the tip in a nose. Well, it's like it's like a it's like putting like a little cotton swab in there. You can just get like the tip, okay. and then you can like spin it okay. around. Okay, ear sex, but you fuck their gauges, and their gauges has like uh, one of those own a hole things. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you just have a pocket pussy basically, <laughs> but and they're pocket just pussy gauge. Yeah, yeah, they're the they're just like the conduit for that. <laughs> yeah. That's that's ear sex for me. That's an intensely. That's how I would have to do it because I'm not going to just destroy their eardrum or whatever. What if you were one of those people who's super religious? You're like, I shouldn't have sex before marriage, but you're also a rapist. So you ear rape someone, and you're that person, and you're getting ear raped. And you're like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> we're like jumping through perspectives too much. We're like, yeah, I'm, well, I'm the well, rapist. I'm, I'm, now I'm getting <laughs> raped. All right, well, there's that person, but I'm saying like, it'd be a fucking trip if you were like, if that person yeah. came up to you, you're not getting, and they like, started raping your ear. You're, you're like, like you're like, I feel violated, but not as bad as all <laughs> other stuff they could be doing. 
and they're just like gumping your ear. <laughs> You're like, okay. That I just think that'd be fun. Yeah, this is funny. <laughs> idea. I, so the first hypothetical you propose is like I'm get, I'm the rapist. I'm gonna rape someone, but then I'm getting raped in my the ear. person I used to be is me. It's like, what yeah, would you do? Right, it's a little metaphysical, okay? Yeah, Fucking yeah. get used to it. That's why. Yeah, that's why. That's this entire weird. podcast is a memetic hazard. Yeah. Uh, cognito hazard. Yeah. That's a fun word, cognito hazard. Yeah. I, incognito hazard, more like. Mm, yeah. That's uh, that's what I like to call my browsing habits. Incognito hazards. Yeah. Are they hazardous? Oh yeah, I'm going to prison for life, <laughs> maybe. I there's no way that Google doesn't store all your incognito oh, data, of course, right? Yeah. yeah, there's cause I just see so many people that are like, Don't worry, I did it on incognito and it's like that just means that you can't see it and other people can't like see it, but Google definitely yeah. still has that data and your market knows. Yeah. You know, like, it's yeah. like it's still yeah, you still have like bits well, going up and yeah. down from that site. It's like, oh wow, oh you did it on incognito, but your ISP still had to like send bits <laughs> I used to like Pornhub. I think that like while I was on like the Wi Fi at my house, if I browsed porn, like they would tell like the ISP and then that they would tell my parents. <laughs> yeah. I used it, to I used like, to think they had like when my parents would like well, because there is a way to like flag it where it's like any illicit site flag me because yeah. I know Chris, Chris, yeah, what's her, what's yeah, her face? Uh, he had a he had a thing where it's like if you looked at porn on his Wi Fi, his parents would know. She. Um, but like I used to think that my parents would get like a bill of all of the things that we <laughs> yeah, like had been browsing. He's like he's like AOL, MSNBC. <laughs> What? Pornhub? Porn. <laughs> what? This isn't something... It's like, I used to think that that was something that just happened with yeah. ISPs. And now I realize they're incredibly lazy. And now they not. don't give a fuck, yeah. Yeah. They're just like, give us your money, you idiot. You want to browse this? Go for it. It's not technically illegal. Yeah, exactly. Even the stuff that is super illegal, you can still get, like, t- through into Tor browser through your fucking... That's not illegal. Well, what are like, we talking about? But they do, they do care about, like, torrenting Dark stuff. Dark websites right? are not technically illegal. Yeah, but the stuff you do on them usually. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why, why are you talking about this? We're talking about, We're talking about like, about, uh, I used, browsing yeah. porn on, like, home Wi-Fi. I used to think my parents would see uh, what websites I visited. Yeah. yeah. Mine, mine did. They, they had the, they, they they tapped to into the Wi-Fi. They could see every, uh, all the traffic. Did they talk to you about it? No, they didn't. That was one one time, I remember I was, I did one time look up, like, big tits on my dad's iPad and <laughs> talk to me about it. <laughs> I was pretty young. Your dad was probably time. like, yeah. <laughs> he was not. He was, for some reason, like, not happy about it. I looked so like, How old were you? Like, um, I don't know, maybe, like... 11? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I just want to hear really... No, I have an iPad story as well, where one time I was, uh, I think I had to have been like 12 or 13, and I was browsing lesbian porn on my family's iPad, and I think I just went to sleep watching it, so I like left it on the ground open, and my parents like found me like in the morning, back there. Was your dick out? I don't think my dick was out. I think I like kind of just went to sleep and just forgot to turn it off. Oh, it was like <laughs> ASMR for yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. pretty. Funny. I uh, I watched a lot more lesbian porn when I was younger. Yeah, same. When you're a little kid, you're scared of like man cock. You're yeah. scared of big man dick. You're yeah. like, I just want to see pretty girl, yeah. dude. The worst story is that my mom's computer used to be our only computer, and my phone couldn't connect to the internet. And this was when I was like 13, so I didn't even think I like had a phone, but. Remember, I was really into Yu-Gi-Oh, so I looked up, like, Yu-Gi-Oh porn on my mom's <laughs> computer, and then I was like, I deleted all the files, so she won't be able to see, and then she called me down, like, with my dad, and they oh, yelled at me for, like, 30 minutes, oh, they were like, God. Yu-Gi-Oh porn, like, this poisons your mind, Jack. <laughs> and I was just like, I just wanted to see Dark Magician Girl's tits, <laughs> yeah. like, please. Yeah, yeah some of my earliest on, pornographic man. experiences were with, like, the meet and fuck games on Newgrounds, and, yeah. like, I pornographic animation. In there, and one time I actually stumbled upon like an animation of like Typhlosion getting fucked, <laughs> <laughs> and that awakened something. I'm surprised you're not more into Monster Girls if that's the case. That's what it, turned him it, away. It, it turned me away. Yeah, I did not have a moment of like, who? Oh yeah, we were above. eased in. We were eased in. We know <laughs> that's the edge. All that you knew was the deep end. Yeah, yeah. 
Dude, I, I don't get it. So, like, Pokemon, inherently, there are some designs Typhlosion like, is not even Typhlosion a sexy Typhlosion is not. <laughs> Typhlosion is not That's why it scared me. Maybe it was, like, a Gardevoir. I'd be like, okay. But, like, yeah. Typhlosion, I was like, because oh. like Because, like, Lopunny mind. is, like, inherently just a human-like design yeah. that has, like, some animal features. Uh, but, so but you look at, like, fucking, like, a Typhlosion, and there's shit where it's, like, a female Blastoise getting pegged, yeah. and you're like, this doesn't even resemble, like, a human. Like, you literally just want to, like, fuck a turtle. Yeah. Like, there's uh, no... What's the, like, pseudo-legendary from Gen 2 that's, like, green and a dragon? Uh, Celebi? No, no, the pseudo-legendary. Like, the dragon type, it's green, it's spiky. Uh, you oh, mean... Tyrant. Oh, Tyrant. Yeah, oh, that's Tyrant. the one who was, a uh, fucking Typhlosion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that nice. makes a lot of... I feel like if there's ever gonna be a Pokemon that is on every, like, on the fucking end of everything, it's gonna be Typhlosion, right? Mm-hmm. What? Getting <laughs> or, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, t- Titar is probably going to be the one fucking other yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, Titar fucks, yeah. Yeah, dude. Like, like, his spikiness. Like, you know, Salamans probably or, not going to be you know fucking. Who fucks more? Garchomp? Lucario. Yeah. Uh, Lucario. Well, Lucario fucks weird, a lot. He gets fucked a lot. Yeah, a Lucario. Because he's got if a little twink. Pokemon body. were real. Like, people always joke about, like, oh, you know, guys would be fucking their Gardevoir all the time. Like, girls will be fucking their Lucario. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the one... There's a there's a, there's a Lucario... The, wait, both of the gym trainers that have Lucario on their teams... Uh, the two the two Canada? fighting ca- yeah. uh, trainers from Gen 4 yeah. and from Gen... Are both women. Like, they're oh. both they're both women, so I yeah. think there might be... Uh, there might be Isn't some sort of correlation. Only one Lucario? Game theory. No, there's a bunch. It's You can, like, find them in a legendary. cave. legendary. For some reason, yeah. I thought it was a legendary when yeah, I was a kid. It like just got a huge be. push for some reason. It's just because it was, like, they so... Had a, they had a movie yeah. about it. it yeah, Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. And that's why, I, when I thought it was a legendary, I was confused. I'm like, because there's Riolu. And I'm like, I yeah. thought legendaries aren't supposed to have... Free but then there's like and Manaphy. then they end up two later like with like Gen Seven too yeah. yeah and it's like man because you can catch in I know in Gen Five you can catch like uh, Rayolu in like one of the first routes and that's just a horrible decision because normal type is the first gym leader but fucking um, <laughs> yeah you. yeah I just I don't know like I feel like there's a lot of people like one thing that is makes it very obvious that some people just have like a weird switch clicked in their brains is all of like the porn of like melodic. Which is just like a yeah. serpent, where it's like it's a weird like sea serpent that is like inherently you look at it and they're like oh that's kind of like that's like a very like beautiful design for feminine, a creature yeah. Yeah. yeah but it's like effeminate and like kind of beautiful well, but look- it's not like sexy at all but you look yeah. at that and some people it's just like view like a worm well it's like it some people yeah, just have the thing crossed the where <laughs> that's the thing with uh what's his face Kira Yoshikage Kira where they have the thing crossed where he's like all right that's a beautiful hand I want to fuck it like I got a boner when I saw Mona yeah, Lisa's yeah. hand the same that's, serial killer wires yeah. are crossed there I assume every single person who wants to fuck my has the uh has the little serial killer serial wire killer crossed. gene Yeah is that an inaccurate brain. representation uh, I agree with that, yeah. All right, cool. I'm glad we're all I in think uh, we really recovered this one. It was, it was yeah. bad at first, but we brought it back. Is that what you, I don't is that what you call it? We had a it? weird energy, though. Yeah. And we're back. <laughs> We yeah, and we're don't back. say we're back. We're back. A dinosaur back story. No, we're back. We don't know we left. Let's, yeah, let's get right back in. No, look, guys, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> we're Now we're done. No, we're back. We're back. And we're gonna do more stuff. <laughs> we're not done. All right. So, all right. All right wait. Done. Wait. No. We'll end it on an improv bit. All right. No. No. That was all right. Good. You guys. You guys we need to do this every time. <laughs> no. You guys are at the DMV. The okay. Okay. Uh, well, you guys are at the DMV. It. Three, Fine, two, uh, one, go. Wait. That's Who's all. At the DMV. No. You guys. Hello. That out. Would you like a driver's license? <laughs> no. I'm not here for a goddamn driver's license. I'm here to get my license renewed. Sounds like you're here for a driver's license. No. It's different. It's a different thing. I thought you knew about this. You fucking work here. Well, I'm, I just feel like you're splitting hairs. <laughs> I don't gotta split hairs with you. I'm trying to get a goddamn driver's license that's m- the same one that I already have. I just want it to be new. Yeah, again. I, get, I know what you mean. Well, can you can you help me out with that? <laughs> Let me get my coworker. <laughs> hey, what seems to be the problem here? Well, this guy's saying I need to get a new driver's license. I'm just trying. I to did get not say new. new. I never said new. <laughs> I said uh, just driver's license, which could, renew could be included in that because you're still getting a driver's license. 
I just want to renew my driver's license. Is that so hard? Is that so hard, Mister? Uh, uh, well, we're we're closing in like fifteen minutes, so uh, why don't you just you go just fuck fucking off. open? It's eight thirty in the morning. <laughs> I I don't give a shit. I'm not. Yeah, yeah we're closing at eight forty five, bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's the D H COVID. Haven't you heard of the guy? Hours of the You fucking cocksucker, dude. Well, yeah, everyone get down. Get this is a robbery. <laughs> well, what the <laughs> fuck? Oh, my God. You're right. Someone's robbing the DMV. Oh, what the fuck? We don't have a lot of money here, but... <laughs> Give me your driver's licenses. Oh, mine I'm... is... Uh, it's out of date. You're going to want to... Bang! Get uh, all right, well, look, here, oh, is, uh, here is that man's new license that we're going to give him to renew it, but you now get it because you're robbing us. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Thanks for the driver's license. And look, if... You're the kind of person to steal a driver's license. It also sounds like you might be the kind of person who likes the Brown Bricks podcast. <laughs> Wait, so where can I email? I said I want I like I love the Brown Bricks podcast, but I want to engage with them on a on a more well, personal you, level. Well, you fucking ingrain. Every episode ingrained. they mention that you can email them at the Brown Bricks podcast at gmail dot com. I don't know how you haven't picked up on that. Is that the Brown Bricks fan. podcast at Gmail? Or is that Brown Bricks podcast at gmail.com? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no the in there. It's just <laughs> Brown Bricks podcast at gmail.com. <laughs> Good one. Oh, All right. And scene. And we nailed it. Yeah. Wow. God, see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs>